I'm Abby Phillips of the Finance News Network. Don't miss tomorrow's webinar discussing financial services, e-health solutions and energy metals. You can register via the Share Cafe or FNM website. Now let's take a look at the stocks of the hour. Clean lithium developer Lake Resources confirms that Lilac Technologies direct extraction technology has been proven successful through extensive field testing at its flagship Karchi project in Argentina. In response, Lake CEO David Dixon said, This is a key milestone for the DFS preparation for phase one of the Karchi project and a major de-risking of the project. Shares are trading 6.25% higher at 17 cents. Ladin Resources Limited announced solid PEA results at the company's 100% owned Kalina Lithium Project located in Brazil. The company reported an after-tax MPV of Australian $3.6 billion, IRR of 132% and a total life mine revenue of Australian $12.6 billion. Shares are trading 2.88% lower at 25 cents. Noble Helium reports that rig up of Marriott Rig 16 is approaching the final stages at the company's North Ruqua Helium project in Tanzania. In response, Noble Helium CEO and co-founder Mr Justin Wood said, We are applying over 20 years of very successful exploration experience throughout the East African Rift system to pinpoint locations of its accumulation in the subsurface. It's coming together and we are extremely confident. Shares are trading 8.11% higher at 20 cents. Lithium Universe announced that Primero Group has been appointed as the Concentrator Engineering Study Manager in relation to the design of a multi-purpose standalone concentrator. In response, Mr Iggy Tan, the chairman of LU7, stated, The design of the QLPH concentrator will be closely directed and supervised by the LU7 team of lithium experts. We know what we want to design and build, and Primero will be executing our very specific plans. Shares are trading 1.92% higher at $0.05. 